Hello, and in this screencast for Apache Isis, I'm going to continue working on this view model I have to compare two domain objects. So uh, what I want to do is to surface some of the uh, data from the underlying objects into the view model so we can compare these two things uh, side by side. So a um, bit of cleanup first though, I don't think I like all these uh, actions along the top, so let's go to the layout file and let's um, hide them. And we can do that with hidden everywhere. Does the job. Let's do that for each of these. And let's just reload, change classes to double check that that's worked fine. Okay, that's tidied up that. And then these labels seem a bit redundant. So that's the, the left and the right property in the corresponding field sets. What we can do in the layout again is we can actually rename the, um, the label. So we do that by using named. So I can just call this, say, object. And I think I want to do the same for the other side, so I'll just probably do it this way. Let's again reload change classes to copy over the layout file. Reload the page. That's saying object and object. And the last thing I think I'd like to do is to get rid of this property uh, edit button, because the, the idea is for this to be a read-only object, and in any case one can't change the value because I've not finished off the choices method there, so um, that's easy enough to do. And the way to do that, I think, probably, is to go to the class itself and to say that this domain object editing is disabled. So that basically makes this view model immutable. All right, so that's um, that bit. Now to surface some information. So um, there's a couple of pieces we'll, we'll surface. We've got a, uh, a favorite color. So let's surface the favorite color of the left-hand side get left dot get favorite color and um, need to return that of course we're going to have that on the right hand side as well so right right and just to add a bit more detail let's have um, say the flag so there's a method called is flag and we'll have a right hand flag as well. And then what we also need to do is update our layout. So we'll want to say something like uh, left favorite color uh, to be labeled as just favorite color. Uh, ditto for the flag. And then same on the other side for the other field set where we see the word left we're going to put the word right okay I think that's the changes let's give that a go and with the application running let's uh, compare two objects then and we can see we're now surfacing favorite color and the flag for both sides with the labels all, ni all nicely named correctly okay so that's it for this screencast uh, that was uh, surfacing some additional domain uh, properties from the underlying objects and you saw updating the layout as well. Give it a go.